Since the middle of 2021, prices across all EU countries spiked. We saw rates of inflation that reached an average of 10% in 2022 in the euro area, but went up to as much as 50% in some countries. The biggest contributor was energy, followed by prices of certain food components. Governments across the EU put forward a number of measures to support households' energy bill, but also to protect their economies from such unprecedented costs. Two years later, thankfully, these rates of inflation have come back down at levels that are more in line with historical averages. The European Central Bank is expecting a level of inflation in the euro area of 2.4%, but more importantly, it also expects inflation to stabilize at its more natural level of around 2%. When it comes to energy prices, almost half of the EU area now see their energy prices declining. However, when it comes to how the consumer experiences price increases, there are still important inflationary pressures that weigh on the household consumption basket. The most obvious one is food prices that continue to increase across the whole of the euro area. In some countries, it is as little as 1%, but in others, as much as 5%. This means that prices of an average basket of food is this year 5% more expensive than that of last year. More distinct are the prices of services that are felt across the EU in a very, very strong way. Uh, it contributes to between 3 and 8% compared to the prices that we saw for services last year. These are no doubt the result of two consecutive crises, the pandemic that has led to what we call pent up demand for consumption, but then the energy prices that have increased the cost of energy and therefore the cost of everything. It is now four years since the start of the pandemic and still we see trail effects of this crisis. Barring any major shock in the global economy, we hope that these effects will peter out and allow for prices to come back to more normal levels.